The ruined keep swelters in the late afternoon sun. Insects buzz around the heads of the guards as they lean against the wall in the shade, their crossbows held in sweaty hands. Long shadows are cast across the tangled wild garden as the sun sets behind the distant mountains. Shadows that have not been seen before, as guards squint at the sun and mutter curses or prayers. For the sun looms an ominous red, curls of black visible around its edge as the corruption boils into the sky. A red sun with a black edge tainting its purity, corrupting the light. Beneath the blazing heat, the party settle down far away on a small hill, overlooking the slopes of the jungle. They need a rest. Only minutes ago, there was a heartbeat that opened the sky and revealed the sun. Minutes ago, corruption rose in blackened mist around them in the shadows, and a woman of shadow rose from the ground as lava split the earth and cracks formed around them. Then there came hellhounds leaping from the earth, intent on biting them or breathing hellfire in their faces. But now the jungle is peaceful. Birds singing, insects buzzing, monkeys screeching in the distance as the party take a short rest in the shade of the trees. Elithia is badly burned from the hellhounds, her skin red and sore. Bran has patches all over his fur where the hellfires tore at him and took him down. Only Adelbert looks pristine, his clothes still relatively spick and span, despite the recent trek through the jungle. And that is where we'll pick up the session tonight. I will just say, uh, as soon as we arrive, Reyna will start playing a song of rest so that everyone gets an additional d6. If you roll any hit dice, you can roll an additional d6 that you can heal. Oh yes, please. Give me all the hit dice. All right. Sorry, I've got like a super shaky camera at the moment. So gradually over the sound of the jungle behind you, um, gentle koto music rises up in the air. Right, am I right in saying that we can hear chanting coming from Rogerton? No. Um, what you heard before was a overlapping of whispers as if carried on the wind. Um, you wouldn't describe it as chanting, more a complex uh, overlapping of different voices, seemingly from different sources. And actually, if I remember rightly, Harathi didn't hear it anyway. And Harathi was the only one who didn't hear that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, Harathi will just sit down and pull some meat out of his you know, um, backpack and chuck it to Brand. Okay. How, how do you use hit dice? I, on... D&D &D Beyond. Oh, anyway, I'll figure it out. Well, we haven't actually had our rest yet, so I would hold off on that if I... That's tr this is true. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking ahead. <laughs> well, as you settle down into the jungle, um, how are each of you taking your rest? Um, so uh, Samita is playing the Koto and just relaxing, and um, how is everyone else resting? Beleth is flopping on the ground. She's going to like try and find some nice cooling leaves, wrap them around herself and just flop like starfish. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rafa is going to, sorry, um, you know, just ruffle Bran's fur and basically keep a watch out. He's not, he's not letting up his guard at all. Okay. Uh, you're yeah, muted, uh, yeah, no, Miss Harris. <laughs> Daymar is going to um, take out uh, one of his 
notebooks and uh, make a quick scribbling in some uh, in one of his little pencils, write a note, and then walk over and like reversing the sort of the, the booklet or whatever, point it towards um, Rainer. And then that's what's written on, written on it. All right, so Zaymar is showing something to Rainer. Not trying to start too many rumours here in the chat room. But... <laughs> There's little hearts drawn at the end of the sentence, oh, whatever God. it says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the eyes yeah. dotted with a heart. <laughs> um, if it's any better, he looks all business. Okay. <laughs> so this, he's holding this in front of Reyna as she's playing the koto. Yes. Right? Let's put it this way, it's not music. Could you send me the uh, message as well? I, d I, did, I did send it to you. On in, the server. All uh, oh, right, got it. Yeah. yeah. She will only look at it out of the corner of her eye for a moment. Essentially, she plays the haughty lady who is ignoring a suitor. <laughs> looks at it, and just gives one shake of her head, and then looks away uh, at a at a um, like a bit up and away, just like <laughs> at a tree. <laughs> Love it. Zaymar snaps his book closed, <laughs> po pockets it, and then turns around and then sort of proceeds to, like, and turns away with a sort of a furrowed brow and then um, thinking and then, but it's slightly annoyed, and then, and then walks back over and sits down with his legs crossed. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Is Zaymar anywhere near me? <laughs> Probably. Okay, is he sitting next to me? Uh, it's up to you. never Zaymar. sits next to anybody, as you oh. well know. You just keep coming over and sitting next to him, but yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm not gonna get up, but I'm gonna like bum shuffle across. Um, <laughs> <laughs> until I'm next to Seymour. Um, and then I'm gonna poke him until he looks at me. Uh, uh, yes. Did you strike out, Seymour? He looks genuinely confused at that. <laughs> what? I, I, I think I think it's because you weren't very nice. She got all burnt, and you didn't even care or like try to help. I'm, like that's something you're supposed to do. I, I'm I'm burnt. I, my foot is is quite badly burnt right now. I... Yeah, but she's more burnt, and she's a lady. Yes. Well, that's not exactly... What are you referring to here? I don't know. I think the reason she wasn't very interested was because you weren't very nice, you know. You have to put effort into these things. Ah, oh, I see where... Look... You're absolutely correct in that I do have to put more effort into these things, but that's not the reason. Um, but yes, a good point. It is going to be a tiresome way of communicating with her, but uh, yes. You have I to. I, I know it. it's difficult for you, Zaymar, when you're being your actual self, not bad. Oops, I'm not allowed to say that. But anyway, I know it's difficult, what but bad like. Bagda, Bagda. Bagda? What, this guy? This guy? The way the ones with the one that speaks like this? No, I mean, I can be Bagda anytime you like. I mean, it's not <laughs> difficult. Is no. that a better way to communicate with people? <laughs> no, I it's better. I like these things, but maybe, maybe. It, it, I know, it, it, I think it's better when you're Zaymar, because I think that's your real self. Is that your real self, or do you have, like, another person underneath there? <laughs> Zaymar says nothing. <laughs> anyway, if that's your real self, it's better to be authentic. But I know with Zaymar, it's difficult for you to be pleasant. Um, so, you know. Um, I'm sorry, that is not something I was trying to work on. 
No, 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 it's not for me. It's okay. I like you even when you're not pleasant. But you know, some ladies, you, you need to you need to be nice to them. Especially when they get burned. And forget about your own burns. Right. Right. Zaymar looks, thinks about this for a moment, takes out his notebook and then writes a small note in the scribble margin. <laughs> <laughs> writing exactly what Alethia just said. And then goes and then like closes the book up and sits down looks at his you know cross-legged again and sort of puts his head down and then you can see his eyes glance up towards Alethea every now and again looking to see if she's gone <laughs> yeah I'm not gone <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and pull things out of his bandolier if he lets me that's the way it was <laughs> Your bandolier. All right. Uh, yes, no. Uh, I'd really rather you didn't touch those. They're really quite dangerous, and I do not have very many of those left, if you don't mind. Think, yes, look, look, really. Just no. But, uh, stop. 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 Look, I'm going to oh. have to... Badly. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you can have them back. And then I'll just lie down. <laughs> <sighs> I look visibly relieved and then go back and I basically take out the notebook again when she's lying down and then I start drawing a um I start drawing a, a grid of squares on the paper. Okay. Um does anyone else want to um have a conversation? Um oh. Adelbert. Yeah. Thanks to um Le Chasse, who I'm promoting to official represent representation to all the gods, <laughs> oh my God. uh, has um, requested a message be sent to Adelbert. So I, I have it. Um, the Huntress has, has spoken with you. I've sent you a message in Discord. Um, Thank you. I have this, replied. Oh, have you? Okay. <laughs> this happens while, um, yeah, the, the high priest of all the gods. <laughs> <laughs> um, this happened while you were um, hearing this conversation go on between Zaymar and um, Alithia. Um, okay, I see your reply. Cool. Also, what I was hoping to do kind of in the initial rest time, is there any... I'm hoping because this is jungle, is there bamboo around? Yes, it's quite common here. Wonderful. Um, knowing... What happens when you leave corrupted items in boxes with the corruption? I initially want to just cut a, essentially a, a longish bit of bamboo, slice it, hollow it, and then make a pipe and stick in my bag. So while the mask is in there, the corruption isn't pooling, but kind of has a, a chimney to, to go through, essentially. So, does that make sense? Uh, yes, I can see what you're trying to do. Um, is it possible to see what you're doing there? Yeah, well, he's beginning really? to fashion a, a bamboo spout. Okay, uh, Zaymar is pretending to write in his grid or whatever, but it's like glancing over and there with a sort of a horrified stroke amused expression. <laughs> I'm very self-centered. I make my stout, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's fairly easy to do. Um, when you... So you've got a backpack, did you say? Uh, it's kind of a satchel sort a of thing. A satchel, okay. Um, when you put the mask in the satchel um, and try and set up your chimney, um, you actually roll Arcana. Uh, 24. 24. Um, so with all the different um, situations where you've seen mist, there seems to be some mist that is naturally formed of droplets of water. And then there's something else which seems to pass through physical barriers. So... The one that's coming from your mask is not formed of natural droplets. 
which means that it doesn't obey the laws of um, convection and physics. Please. Okay. Hmm. Well, just shrug my shoulders, dump it. And um, what what's Baha doing? Um, Baha is following Harathia's example and standing guard. He's he's whichever direction Harathia is looking, which I guess was probably Rogerton. Um, Baha is facing the opposite way. In which case, I'd like to kind of go behind him and sit, kind of leaning on his legs, take out my um, my sketchbook and start sketching hell hands for the rest of the time. Okay. Just kind of leaning against Farha. All right. Any other conversations while you're resting? Yeah, so as Rathia sort of, you know, scanning the jungle and the slopes towards Robertson. They'll say, um, I don't know if you can do this. Don't know magic like you lot. But it would be a good idea if we could try and get to Robertson without being noticed. Which might mean, I don't know, going invisible or some shit like that. Anyone help with that? Um, There's distinctly no reply from Reyna, who seems to be slightly in her own. Don't mind. reply at once, will you? <laughs> um, um, technically, I can do it for two people. Right, well, that's something. I don't, you don't, I, don't, to... I don't think it's the best use of stuff. Well, look. Uh, to yourself, but I ain't worried about me. I ain't particularly worried about Zaym or Brian either. It's I can make thing. a stealthy light. That's Fine. Right. All I'm saying is that we don't want to be noticed if we can help it. Yeah, well, I can. I can last... do that. Did we not? Did we? Did 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 I not do the thing before, where I got all the shadows and stuff? Yes. Yes, you did. It works very well. As I recall, it was extraordinary. Wait, did I do that here? No, not on this. But you, yes, you have done. I do remember. But... In the past, when we were trying to go into that um, uh, place in the mountains that the Astravi dropped us off at. No, no, this time, to, like today. Did I do it today? You haven't done it today, no. Uh, you had a conversation about doing it, and Harathia said, could you hold off until we're a bit closer? I think you wanted to hold oh. off until you, you were within sight of the village. Uh, I mean, it lasts for an hour. Oh, do you reckon we're an hour away? How far are we from? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. you're about thirty minutes. Um, sorry, that <laughs> you're about thirty minutes away. Um, the the up sounding bit of my uh, sentence is because I need to send something to uh, Mr. Harris. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it seems to me we keep we keep to the. the the foliage keep undercover until it gets a bit thin and okay. at that point we make use of it no i think we should do it beforehand it works more in the foliage and they won't be able to see us a joint coming up you've got uh, an arrow of it hello no fuck's sake as long as we get there and it's working i don't give a shit do what you want whatever we right do. here you're really rude because i'm giving us an idea of like not killing everyone we already did really badly with all of this. I think I did rather wonderfully, actually. Parathia huffs a bit, and he, and he looks he looks at, at, at Lithia, and he, he gives a little bit, little nod and doesn't say anything. Zaymar looking for the opportunity to interject and <laughs> looking really uncomfortable. Uh, uh, I believe that uh, once I was up that tree, I could see a better route. I believe I could get us there in 20 minutes. It is still thick jungle, but perhaps with uh, speed we could move through there. So 20 minutes would still leave us 40 minutes to explore Rogerton. We... I can do it again when we get to Rogerton, you know. But why do you wish to not be seen? These things are already erupting out of the mere ground in front of us. Do they not know we're here? 
Yeah, they, know where, but they, they won't know where we are exactly, will they? Well, if I recall, Ellie wants to parlay with them. So probably best we may don't sneak up on them. Seems to me, we get your Hall of Echoes going, then we can talk about what we want to say, if that's what we're going to try. And then, well, Adelbert can send a message or some shit when we decide what we want to say. Um. Whatever we do. Okay. We are on our own at this point. We're too far for this driveway to to come without serious risks to themselves. They've had to fall back because of the energy that's emanating from Robertson. So we are on our own. Meanwhile, uh, Zaynar gets up and wanders over and then proceeds to show another note. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, not that. <clears throat> and then he holds it there this time, looking deep sigh, and then waits while you, I assume, take out your own pen. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> wait to see if you do so, and if you don't. So she was quite distracted in her own head when when you arrived. Um, so it actually took like probably a shake of the paper to actually get her attention in the first place. But when she looks over, she again just like looks briefly, looks away again, and f at first doesn't respond. Before, um, you know, she just kind of holds for a moment. She switches her position a bit and just tugs on her ear, and that's it. And that's the only response that she gives. Ignores <laughs> you otherwise. <laughs> Zaymar t t tears the bottom of the piece of paper, folds it up into a very tight thing, and then just goes and throws it <laughs> at the ground in front of your in front of your feet, and then snaps the book shut and about faces, and then walks back over, <laughs> sits down with his arms folded, and then and then uh, and then proceeds to ignore everybody. <clears throat> Everyone <laughs> apart from Zaymar and Samita roll insight. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Seventeen. Same twins. Insight twins. <laughs> uh, eight. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Adelbert, your um, your nose is buried in your notebook, uh, and you you've just reached a very difficult angle that you're trying to draw accurately. Um, so you're trying to make sure that it's it looks in perspective, um, so you don't notice. Well, you you see the two um, doing whatever that they're doing, um, but it's you, not about me. I don't care. Yeah, you're not really focused on it. Um, Alithia and Herathia, obviously the, there is something going on, um, but it seems as though um, Samita is playing hard to get. <laughs> um, that, that, that's what I wasted a 17 insight roll. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay, hold on. Um, what can I do? Uh, okay, I'm going to... <laughs> Um, I'm going to uh, look in my pouch for um, some uh, flat for some marigold seeds. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Druid Craft rapidly. So I've got like five. I'm going to take thirty seconds for this. So I've got like five little marigold. Um, uh, like blooms. Okay. And then I'm gonna sidle up to Zaymar again. Oh, we'll try and staying out of the sight of uh, of uh, of Reina, so she doesn't know what's going on. Okay. As best as possible. Zaymar. Yes. 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 I think give these to her, and. Um, that's your purpose. 
because you can use them as a salve for her skin and it will help it. Um, but also, you know, the flowers. Uh, you want to think that... Like, there is confusion and <laughs> it's like trying to work something out. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna yeah. like, death glare at some... Give, give Raina these flowers. They're for her skin. You have, you have some insight into what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah, I have insight. I know all about the stuff, but you need right. to get to know someone first properly. And presents are nice. I am. Also, it shows you care there. about her burning. I swipe the, <laughs> I swipe the flowers. <laughs> if I may, just to point out, her clothes are damaged, but she actually healed herself, so the the wounds themselves are doing fine. Okay. I also this as well. <laughs> I'm just supremely confused right now. <laughs> I'm clearly missing something. I could have sworn that I had that grid right. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I. There must be some ways of druid stuff that I, I do, do not understand. Uh, you said give them to her, okay. <laughs> Zaymar takes the flowers, walks over, picks up the piece of paper that he put on the floor, <laughs> Janet unfolds the piece of paper, puts the flowers in the piece of paper, folds it up, and then hands it back, <laughs> puts it at her feet, and then... Uh, Shrugs, turns around, and goes back the way. <laughs> so I've got that at my feet now. No, he's got the flowers. He wrapped the. Right. He put the paper and then wraps the flowers around. It, the flowers are inside the paper and then put it at your feet. Um. Yeah. And then walks back. I think that worked. <laughs> so I say to Olivia on the way back. Thank you. I clearly missing something. Oh, takes out his notepad oh, and seeks to write a little note in the margin along including marigolds <laughs> with a que with three question marks afterwards. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, me. So Reina will stop playing the Kotel um, and continue the song of rest by humming quietly. Um, <laughs> but um, instead of picking up the flowers or the note. She distinctly turns, puts both of her feet on top of them, and then puts um, her satchel in her lap, pulls out a small piece of paper, and starts writing something. But then, like, after one word, she just stops and sits there thinking while humming. <gasps> Ice cold, man! <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I, turn to, I, I turn to Alithia and, like, I am genuinely amazed. Your, your craft is amazing. Uh, I had no idea. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> huh? No, it, 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 but, but she stood on them. Uh, no, that, that is okay, right? <laughs> no, they're for her skin. But, and also they're pretty. Uh, we have, never mind. I consider that we should go. well done, Olivia. We should <laughs> I go. Tap we you on the go. shoulder, and then I we tap you. We should go. The... Are you like Adelbert should teach you these things? Adelbert. I just kind of shut up. Doing gets me involved in this. <laughs> back <to> my book. <laughs> oh, never, never mind. Anyway, I, I, I wander over to uh, like losing interest immediately. Now he's got a reaction out of. Samita, he just turns around and then uh, wanders over to Harathia. Uh, so, uh, what's the plan? We, do we navigate the village? Yeah, we make use of Alithia's spell. We get as close as we can. Find out what's going on. But you remember what happened last time? Yeah, yeah, I do. Did we not tell the others? Which bit are you talking about now? You have no memory of what happened last time. The water. How loudly is everybody talking at this point? I'm talking pretty loudly. <laughs> Normally, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're all very close together, and the jungle, while there is a background hum and a lot of other noises, um, it's not hugely loud, so you can hear the voices clearly. 
yeah believe me if you if Zayma didn't want you to hear you wouldn't hear <laughs> but um yeah it, it, yeah uh, takes a deep sigh just slams a notebook unless you got so sorry. haven't you told us this time but Frat is going to carry on sorry but I didn't mean to speak over you but he'll speak over Adelbert. bear <laughs> <laughs> Well, unless you've got a boat, Andy, I don't see what we can do. We'll just face what we face. Besides, there's lava coming out of that place. Water and fire don't mix very well. I can't remember if we briefed it, but we need to at least tell everybody here what they should expect. We could not trust our eyes last time we were here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But well, you made that point already. I, don't well, I thought it was bear worth bearing in mind. So fine, but gassing about it ain't going to change it, is it? We don't know mm -hmm. what we're going to see. And when mm. we get there, we still ain't gonna know. Talking about it won't change nothing. He's um, right, you know. I I thought it best to reiterate. All right, fine. There's shitloads of boggy, misty water in Rogerton, and we you That's might okay. see stuff that ain't there. Fab. Everyone got any questions? Well, uh, just do you, that want to... you say fire and, and water can't mix. There are certain circumstances when water can be a flame. Um, I've read in some wonderful history books how it can be used in, in naval combat. Um, what are you talking about? I know water. he's being. Just, just, just saying fire and water can, can mix at times. Okay, okay, Adelbert, okay. Um, so, are we being sneaky sneaky, or uh, am I making one person invisible and then they're going ahead, or are we just going as fast as we can and then just before we get to the edge we go sneaky? Or do we not go sneaky at all? But if you can do it more than once, or we'll use it now, and maybe have to use it again, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, you guys need to stay. Have, have, have we spent? Have we spent our hour yet? Because we've just been talking. Do we have to. Uh, I'm just conscious that Simon is likely to throw something horrendous at us to serve <laughs> our rest before <laughs> before we actually get it. <laughs> um, you are currently. I'm doing real time for the role play, so you're, oh. you're 30 minutes in, but we can fast forward yeah. if, at any point. I just won't interrupt right. unless needed. Yeah, fast forward noises. Only if everyone else is finished. So, um, Adelbert, are you, you done with your your rest? Um, yeah, it's just when I, when I finished my drawing, I was going to kind of stand up to go, go to Baja. Oh. Kind of, um, have I missed anything? Just kind of leaning in. Are you showing the drawing to him? Yes. Your etchings. Um, um, they look. I would probably, yeah, the the. And then he stops taking the question seriously and <laughs> looks at you <laughs> with a with a twinkle in his eye. It's fine. I don't know. It looks. It looks sorry. It's amazing. It's one of the best I've seen. I know. I am. God. <laughs> he just. He doesn't actually look at the drawing as he's saying. He's just kind of looking at Baha. He closes the book. With a smile. There's a 30 second pause while he's just staring into your eyes and then. He, he st stiffens his back and and because he's sta he's currently standing leaning against the tree um, with his longbow by his leg, um, and he sort of straightens his back up and starts scanning the jungle again. Yeah, you, you might notice that Rathi's eyes are on him in a fairly disapproving way just then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would uh, I would uh, like elbow Zaymo and be like, see, that's how you do it. I'm sure I'll go back to checking out Robert in that direction. All right. If there's if there's no other business, I have a quick question from the hilltop. Can we see how far away Robertin is roughly? Or so, 
it's it's half an hour trek through the jungle, but that's at half speed. Um, so you you're relatively close, um, so you can see Rogatum physically, but it is covered in mist, um, and there are a lot of trees between you and Rogatum. So all you can see from here is just the top of this um, cluster of mist on the horizon, and Would the trees spreading up to. To oh. beneath you. Okay, sorry for interrupting. Um, would I guess that it's under a mile? Uh, yes, it's but it's only just. Okay, then I will write a piece of paper, show it to Harathe and to the others if they wish to see. Um, it will say, um, I can cast a spell with which I can see inside the village. Let me do that before we move on. Oh, before yeah. you do, do you want a blessing from the gods? Kevin quickly has to see if that's something that would <laughs> yeah, be I don't helpful. Know. Um, it's a d4. Oh, yeah, no, it's just, I'll send that's you. Good, because while he does that, he, he misses his Amos slight frown that he shows the note to Harathia first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing that. <laughs> yeah, Harathia gives you a Gives you a nod. Yeah, do it. All right. So um, I will do that at the end of the, the short rest, but uh, then I will take ten minutes to incant this uh, spell, holding a glass eye that I produce from my satchel, um, which uh, is probably a bit scratched as I have recently acquired it from uh, from someone. Before, if uh, or someone. <laughs> Before we fast forward to the end of the um, the, the short rest, um, Brathy's just going to have a think about because um, he's just sitting there looking at Robertson and it popped up into his head that there was some building work going on. So he just he's just going to try and remember exactly what they were building because you know at the time he just assumed they were repairing buildings and that might be the case, but it might so not be. hold hold that thought, hold that question in your head. Um, Kevin, uh, the yeah, the on face value that spell doesn't need um, assistance from the gods. Um, if I guess specific circumstances lend themselves outside of the parameters of the spell, then it would be useful. Right. Um, I mean, I will definitely accept uh, Alethia's help, but I will write a note. Again, this is at the end of the short rest, but I'll yeah, write a note asking for it. Um, nine minutes in so that it's in the last minute that I actually gain the blessing uh, that she's providing okay uh, so yeah um, Alithia it would be helpful to um, have that blessing I will also mm -hmm. make a note um, on the spell that you're casting uh, Samita that yeah. uh, it is blessed not blessed well blessed sort of it's guidance right yes <laughs> but it's a blessing from the gods. It's no divine marigolds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I marigolds. Step on those. Oh no, they're actually really good for your skin. Anyway, they make it pretty. Anyway. Uh, All right. So, um, Haratia, your question. Um, the you never did work out what the uh, construction work was for. Um, there was a lot of construction work that was definitely repairing houses. Um, but the construction that most concerned you was in the church, and apart from the big hole, you're not sure. Um, but there was nothing obvious that they'd been constructing, and you didn't check it out in the end. You were busy. No, we did go to the church, though. So I suppose what I was trying to do is to think about it. I know shock, horror, but oh, sure. Um, yeah, because in. Um, character terms, it's only been three and a half months or something. Um, yeah, so roll history. Um, do I know that he's trying to do this or not, I suppose? No. How would you possibly tell? Yeah, I just check it. <laughs> well, no. he, he's standing there with a frown <laughs> on his face, as usual. <laughs> it's like, that's could be, that could be like, yeah, it's like, where did I put my sword down or something? It could be anything. This is yeah, the happiest yeah. day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> he probably should have said something because he rolled a nine. <laughs> okay. 
Um, all you can remember is the scaffolding, the wooden scaffolding um, that was in the tower um, and on the obvious um, broken wall at the back of the church. There's nothing unusual or different that you can remember. Okay, so the question is, based on that, and I know part of this is just my character choice, is it, does he think there's there's nothing to find out about it by, by discussion, if you like, <laughs> or is he thinking, I just haven't thought of it? I mean, that's a choice for me, is it? Uh, yeah, I think it would have to be because um, there's gaps in your memory, so you're aware there could be something that you would otherwise remember, but um, whether that is interesting to Rathir is up to you. Mm. And the entire campaign rests on this decision. Yeah, no, it's quiet. So, okay, so he'll, he'll look over to, to, to Zaymar and say, yeah, there was building stuff in Rockton. What? In the church. I mean, not just the church, but they were building shit. Yes. I don't know. I was just trying to think what it might be, but you got any ideas? What they were building? Yeah. They had some scaffolding up, doing something. Might not have been, might have just been repairs. I don't know. Uh, no, you're right. Uh, they were. They immediately started building over the crack in Lauf when we saw that from a distance. Hmm. Um, can I ask if there's any um, if there's any uh, differences or similarities between what they were building around the crack in Lauf that I saw? Obviously, that was a huge pyramid or whatever, something that they were trying to build over this crack. I don't know if there's any similarities in the foundations or... Roll... Were they building foundations? Uh, roll history. Can he have uh, an advantage? I'll because I've brought it up with him. Yeah, I'll walk it through with that. Uh, um, yeah, if, if, if so, Harati, if you sort of tell Zaymar as much as you can remember um, and what you saw, then, yeah, with advantage, for sure. Right. Uh, what am I rolling here? Insight or history, right? History for now, yeah. That was, that was an 18. Uh, that was a 16. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that would be... Uh, 21. Nice. Um, so with some prodding from Harathia, uh, but not much, both those rolls are pretty high, <laughs> <laughs> um, you recall quite clearly the work that was done in both Lauf and Rogerton. They were very different. Um, the construction work that was being done in Lauf was of a building. So it was preparing for um, a large structure. And it was quite um, wide in, in size. The construction work in um, Rogerton um, involved things like pulleys and... Um, I forgot what the word is the pivot system oh, right. so we think lever they yeah mining. So mining work that sort of stuff i didn't mean lever but there's a like a uh, the a, a frame is it i can't remember what it's called but um oh, right like a for, for yeah. water out of the ground or something for, for lifting heavy objects using a, a lever system yeah. right um so you can remember right. sort of vague vague details of uh, what could be that those kind of elements in the construction um roll Oof. Yeah, roll history again to see if you can identify exactly what it was for. History, I guess. But this is this is just for you, your character. Okay, that was two. <laughs> Five. Yeah, you. I mean, I I was <laughs> already considering you, you. You weren't really up on your construction. Um, <laughs> so. you weren't really up and not you know yeah uh, it's not really your thing uh yeah you, you have no history of uh yeah. that kind of work so yeah. um all you can gain from it is the two structures were very different 
and they were definitely building something specific in the church, but you don't know what. Okay. All right, so the the short rest is completed. You can press that button if you need to uh, to press regain hit points, points, hit points and any other short rest style uh, yeah. recovery stuff. Yay! If you roll hit dice, you gain an additional one d six. No matter what. Yay! Uh, how do I do this? Where is the short rest button? Uh, you are probably looking oh, I've got it, got it, found it. Found people it. who don't Take. use no, no, that system. Fine. Take short Sorry. rest. Um, a long time since I've seen the sheet. Why did that not give me hit points back? Because you're on full? I don't know. Oh no, you weren't, we. It was. Oh, it works. No, I, uh, can't, I can't do it. I'm going to have to roll them manually. Sorry, it didn't that's right. you. Hmm. So sometimes being and Beyond just seems to have emissions. I don't know. Back up to full. Okay. Um. Eh? Why is it not updated my um hit points? Didn't do it for me. A short rest, and then you, you don't. It doesn't update your hit points. You still have to roll, and then change the current and the temp. Oh, I see. So you have to roll stuff. Okay, fine. So it wasn't. It was just yeah, yeah. No, you just. And hold on. I, I have a thing with a short rest that I'm. I remember um, that I can do. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'll do a um a natural recovery if that's okay. Um, yes, I, I kind of expected you to. Yes. And um cool. That is awesome, man. Okay, cool. Um okay, and really? oh wait, wait, um and I get a D six, do I? Yes. Perfect. From beautiful like music almost... and uh, humming. That was an awesome D6. That was a five. I got so... six. Five as well. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the dice I chose to roll gave me one more than my maximum, so. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, no, same. I am. Um... I'm lucky. It's good. I didn't I... need to roll. Me neither. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm, I'm back to my maximum, but it gave me, it gave me one more than maximum. So that's awesome. As we're all standing up and getting ready, Alibi goes, so remind me again the reason we're walking into what is quite possibly literally hell. We need to know more. That's what it is. We can't keep on running away from this shit. We ain't getting nowhere. If we can't, uh. if we can't fight this on our doorstep, then we ain't got no chance against 40,000 fucking elves. Well, we won't have to fight 40,000 effing elves if I report back to Aldenor exactly what we find inside. That was the deal. He and I think this is all well and good but if we're going into bolster our knowledge uh, in the fight against corruption if we then report everything we find to the leader of corruption does that not take away our, our advantage? I agree with with Everyone, actually, that's so strange. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I think we should tell Algernon. Um, Algernon, oh, sorry. No. Um, yeah, Algernon. Uh, we should tell him. Um, but uh, not everything. And isn't that why you were going to be blindfolded? So that, you know, we could pick and choose what you tell. And I also... Um, agree. Yeah, so yeah, I agree with Bertie too because he's sensible, and we shouldn't tell him everything. And also, like Rathia, twice in a day. Um, I agree with you too. Uh, we do need to find out more because we can't fight all these elves. And no offense, Bertie, but like your decorruption takes a bit too much time. And maybe if we find out more about it, we can figure out where it's coming from and fix the problem. Maybe it's like a tap. Yes, excellent, Olivia. Brilliant. So anyway, uh, there you go. Oh, Bertie, uh, um, 
This isn't a full interruption. This is just to say I'm assuming you're walking while talking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm still casting the ritual, aren't I? Yeah, so we're, we're waiting for the ritual. To... Ah, right. Sorry. No, then this is still the... Oh. This is still yeah. the... Oh, no, because you, you needed an extra uh, time after the Yeah, I needed short 10 rest, minutes right? after the, the short rest. Okay. No, in which case, we're fine. Um, so... Yeah. Let's... Um, well, it depends. If you want to keep talking before the ritual no. is complete. No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Ritual's okay. complete. All right. So I gain guidance, right, on the thing? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Kevin, where are you going to put it? Well, the, the town was covered in mist, right? So I don't mm -hmm. have a clear um, point to place it. But um, I've never done this spell before. So when Reyna um, does it and she focuses on a point that she knows exists, mm -hmm. she will try to guide it as much as possible to an open space. So she's looking for the town center where she's expecting a, you know, an open market or, or a square or whatever something where the buildings are around and she can get the best look around okay. so um essentially having heard the um the conversation of Harathia and Zaymar um the <laughs> Le Chasse, they don't, uh, Kevin hasn't said what the spell is that's why you don't know well a spell to see interrogative yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um Give that what you will <laughs> Yeah, they, <laughs> so, that takes ten minutes and is a ritual. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. No, is it there? Um, <laughs> you know that the basic size of Rogerton, you're trying to get in the middle. So from your vision of, so what you can see is this uh, surface of mist above the treetops ahead. Um, mm. So you're basically going to um, effectively pick the middle of that, um, which is actually quite close to the center of the village um now you you have you have a choice as well uh did you tell me what your choice was? i you am didn't? trying to see you're trying to see okay yes i have another uh question which is yes. not clear in the spell Ooh. description um do you want this to be at ground level or at a different height If you will allow it, I would like it to be at roughly what I would perceive to be the top of of a regular homestead at that height. So about what, like two and a half, three meters high, that sort of thing, uh, if that's possible. All right. Um, and do you want me to send you the description, or are you going to repeat it out to everyone? I uh, I'll probably write it out. In fact, if if you'll allow it. Uh, if she can, she'll just be writing while uh, her, while her eyes are closed. Um, it might not be the most legible writing, but you know, she'll correct <laughs> what she can afterwards. Okay. Um, so you see, everyone um, sees from the description, but um, Samita sees for yourself um, that the location, the center of your vision is the surface of water. So you're looking at lapping waves and deep mist. I check in every direction. So as far as you can see, um, there's water and your visibility is very short. Uh, you can only see 10, 20 feet because there's thick mist. However, this is not black mist this is just mist this is whitish vaporous um, mist that you would expect in a hot spring or um, a cold day um, rising off the field or whatever does the surface of the water seem like an ocean to me more like a lake are you telling us that the water's covering the entire is covered the entire village even the uh, church. Is it, was the church the tallest building? The church was the tallest building. Mm. Okay. We're going to need a boat. That, is that mist steam? Or is it mist? Uh, I that water my... hot? 
Um, I don't think I can answer that. But as an action, I will change my perception to hearing by producing the horn that uh, mm -hmm. that I also have. So the I've ground is flowing with lava, Tamar. I imagine there's a good chance that the water is indeed hot. Um, so yeah, I pull out a be small bejeweled horn and I suppose place it near my ear to actually listen to. That is up to you how you flavor your magic. Yeah, I think she's like literally, she puts it to her ear and just starts writing with the other hand, eyes still closed, uh, to focus on what she hears. Okay. Um, you So imagine different layers of sound based on proximity. The, f the immediate sound is the lapping of water, um, mm -hmm. as if your ear is right on the surface of this water. Um, so you hear the waves, although they're very gentle, um, more like a lake that's a bit windy. Um, however, over the top of that, you immediately hear the whispering that you um, heard on the wind earlier, um, which died away after the um, initial uh, wash of sound. Um, and the whispering seems to be coming from a specific direction, which, uh, based on your um, location of this spell, mm -hmm. you are facing um, west, and this sound is coming from your south. Um, so that would be east and south. Yeah, southeast. So southeast of where you drop the spell, um, it's okay. There's a, a very loud whispering, and as you sort of ro rotate the spell, if you like, um, you yeah. can hear the, the the stereo effect of um, the whispering change. So it's definitely coming from a singular location. Um, okay. You can also hear other sounds mixed in. Roll um, perception to distinguish those. <coughs> we that is a Ah, uh, guidance is a Yeah, you could. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good, a good use of it. Well, it depends. It's up to you. No, I've rolled it. I've rolled it. Okay. Um, that makes for thirteen, unfortunately. Thirteen. Yes, thirteen. Okay. Um, so you can hear a distant scream that that stops and starts again. Um. You can also hear a rumbling, but you're not sure where it's from or what kind of rumbling it is. Um, and there's some other higher tone sound, um, like a white noise, um, that you can't identify. You just know that you can hear it. Okay. Um. Um, I will switch back to seeing because okay. I, I think I have duration up to 10 minutes so I'll switch back to seeing quickly and look up do I see the sun from here as well? Uh, yeah, you could, yeah the sun is um, dipping down over the mountain but you can see it okay that's it that's I think all I'm going to what get what about smells? Okay. So, um, you've written all this down, yeah? So, sorry, yes. Um, can you go closer to where Whispering is? See, see what's there? Um, she'll shake her head. Can you, can you smell what is there? Cause you can get other information. Um, Zane was gonna take out his book and he's gonna quickly sketch, like, what he remembers of the village outline um, and then he's going to get some meter to put a mark where she put the eye right so, yeah so uh, where is the eye on here so I'll just do a rough sketch yeah and then so that we can get an idea of exactly where that whispering is coming from okay I'll 
try to put it as best I can where I intended to put it, uh, because I obviously have no landmarks to actually base it on. But uh, if I can, I'll steal a quick glance at the map and close my eyes again to focus on the sensor. And I really try to focus on my vision of what Rogerton, you know, what I should be seeing, what I think I should be seeing. And I try to, like, focus that through my, you know, uh, my perception to attempt, you know, if there is any illusion in place to attempt to see see through it. I don't know if anything happens, but that is what she's trying to do. Yeah, um... Hmm. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, a nine. Okay. Um, in a one, Olivia's sucking teeth there. <laughs> Enter. So, regardless of the fear that what you're seeing isn't real, um, from Zaymar's help, that you don't need a roll to work out that the whispering is coming from the church. Hmm. Yeah, me too, so hard. Look at this. If the whole place is covered in water, then how can you hear whispering? You know, you can only whisper in the wind, can you? I'm, I just write down illusions and underline it multiple times. Well, the sound of the water. The water illusionary. How can you do that, then? I don't know. I just, I just write theory underneath. Not sure. Harathia. Sorry, um, go ahead, son. Uh, I think perhaps we should take a closer look. Suits me. All this gas in is boring the shit out of me. Let's go. I'll cancel the spell. Alright. Um, so, Harathia, as, as Samita was um, holding up the paper that said illusion, um, you immediately see, um, coming from her eyes and coming from her ears, is black mist. <laughs> no, you were right next to her. Um, it's a very faint wisp. All right. He'll, he'll, he'll do, you know, that sort of thing, as you would. And then he'll, he'll lean in closer. Actually, I'll do it to the webcam. And then <laughs> You do know there's mist coming out of your eyes and ears. I'll write underneath. Not surprised. Alright. Well, we all know we can't necessarily trust what we see. we still got to find out more. Let's go. I'll all right. get up to go. Um, and I just... Okay produce a small piece of paper that I had prepared and handed to Zaymar and I'll share that in the same channel as before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um as we kind of got to leave, I'd like to walk up to uh Reina and just say um if I may it may stop the mist from developing. And I'll hold my hand up. See if she kind of lets me um, touch her. Am I feeling anything particularly developing um, as I focus inward? Is there any nausea or any other physical symptoms that I feel? No. She just shakes her head. At the Alabama. She shrugs. Away. Um, what were you looking for, Adabe? Oh, I was going to uh, just cast resistance, give it a little, you know, boost to fighting chance. She didn't want it. Ah, right. Okay. I just I'm wanted to check in case. 
I missed her roll. Uh, go ahead, Maz. Uh, Raina, Samita, why don't you want help against the corruption? Do you want to be corrupted? <gasps> She'll write on a note um, showing Alethia and probably uh, trying to catch Adelbear's attention to it as well. And it says, didn't someone here theorize that mist and corruption are not the same? Yes, but they're certainly linked. She'll write I again. Think... Sorry, go ahead. No, I think it's a bit different though, because if you're a creature that's from the mist, then it's a part of you. But if it's if it's something that you take in, it's not so good for you. It's like it's like puppies, right? Puppies don't cause any problems on their own. But if we go and eat a load of puppies, then you know, you get a bit loopy. During that, she was writing, and she turns it over, and it says, For now, I'm fine. If I begin to behave unreasonably, you may do whatever you feel is necessary to heal I, or restrain me. I don't have my box, so there's little I can do to chromat it when it sets in. Yeah, it's too late then. That's all right, just punch the lights out, eh? Problem solved. Well, a prevention's better than cure. That's always the old adage in healing. If... If it is felt that is not needed at this time, then I should not enforce it. Um, she, she pulls out the medallion of the huntress that she does carry, just like kind of reinforce, you know. She has her version of protection, I suppose, is what she's trying to say. Are we, are we uh, moving? I just okay, messaged okay. You are I moving, yeah. Raina just to say she is watching us. And mm -hmm. uh, kind of a half sort of smile. She responds with, do what you have to. Okay. If the time comes. Um, nods. As we're moving, I'm going to be casting um, uh, Pass Without a Trace. Okay. And I'm going to, like, make sure everyone's near me. Um, uh, and if I see, like, anyone straying, like maybe Bran straying, I'll be like, No, Bran! You have to stay within 30 feet! Everyone in 30 feet of me. And, um... The shadows get thicker, and uh, noise reduces, and you get a plus ten to uh, stealth checks. Yep. Um, so, two things. Um, party order. Uh, three at the front. Uh, actually, Zaymar will go in front, because he has to lead the way. That is true. Um, if you want to um, go faster than um, normal. Okay. No, that, that is true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, that's not exactly what Zaymar wants to do, but, you know. <laughs> All right. So, um, Zaymar first. Are you... So, that you actually have a choice of route, uh, Zaymar. You can either try and use the road as much as possible, or you can go through the jungle. Sorry, was that to me? Yeah. Mm. Sorry, yeah. I missed that. I literally glossed at something. <laughs> you glossed over. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you are leading the party, Herathia wanted to stay in the middle of the road um, so that it was harder to ambush the party before. But you, you're leading, so it's your choice. Do you follow the road as much as possible or um, go through the jungle? We're going through the jungle because that's the fastest route and the place and the best way that I think, given I, what I saw at the top of the tree, was the way to avoid the lava that sprung up. So yeah, the, the road wiggles quite a lot, so you can you can include the road from time to time if you wish. It's up to you. 
Um, to be honest, I'd rather move through the road as quickly as possible because the shadow is like in the middle of the road, we're just going to get the light come in. So that's not going to help. So I'll just use standard stealthy methods to try and what I'll do is I'll use my knowledge of stealth to help other people move from shadow to shadow as we go. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll do with that in a sec. So um, we've got Zaymar up front. How far behind Zaymar is right here? Five feet. I, I figure if we're all going stealth, we need to be close, otherwise... Yeah, you've got to be within 30 of um, Alicia. Yeah. yeah. So, Harathia and Bran behind Zaymar. Um, who's after that? <laughs> Ray uh, was... Rayna would like to go second last, if possible. Okay. Um, f even, even though it's not super important, um, I've still got the lava map up. I will open TTS just so that you can see um, what I'm talking about. So, um, second to last. So last time it ended up being Baha who had to take up the um, the rear, um, and Adelbert. Well, I was going to suggest I uh, walk at the back with, with Baha, and I just kind of message him. Um, oh, Ellie says we have to stay close and just kind of link his arm. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are so cute. I love it. If um, if he can still see, well, I'm sure he can see Adelbert, Rathiel, you know, do the, I don't know, he'll, he'll do the, the, just point to his ear, he's not subtle, is he? In um, Adelbert's direction? Yeah. Okay. All right. I roll my eyes and nod at the same time. <laughs> cast all of echoes. Alright, so there's a a rush of sensation as you join the Hall of Echoes. Um and I believe there was a peaceful feeling as well, wasn't there? Of welcome. Yes, it's as if you just walked into um an art gallery or or an opera house. There's a calm, classy sensation. <laughs> It makes makes you a bit uncomfortable, you know. You, you wonder what you're doing there, that sort of thing. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're afraid to speak out loud. <laughs> the hall of whispers instead of echoes. Okay. Um, the uh, the moment you put your arm through Ambaha, he accepts it and walks shoulder to shoulder for two strides. And then, in a very natural way, disengages and steps back um, so that he's he's behind you again. Um, his body posture is going to be angled most of the time, so it's it's actually impossible to walk arm in arm. Um, but he also clearly doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, not right now. So much batting back today, isn't it? <laughs> no, rejected. Um, is that formation roughly what you want, everyone? Yeah. That is perfect. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Um, I'll remove that again. I like the Alethia sandwich. <laughs> All right. Um, so, picking your way through the jungle um, under constant guidance from Zaymar, who is um, attempting to make sure you all stay hidden, um, you can apply advantage to one person doing that, um, Zaymar. So who, who do you want to help? Sorry? <laughs> it's like, I'm, sorry to show it's like, I'm terrible this evening. Sorry, who do I want to help? I'll tell you what, I'll switch the way I say it. I'll put Zaymar at the beginning of the sentence. That might help. <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> Helping them with stealth, you can help one person. Who would that be? Um, I would probably help um, Alethia. Okay. So everyone roll um, stealth. Alethia, you have advantage. I'm everyone good gets at plus ten. What? Oh, really? Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's either that one, the <laughs> bloody wolf. And I'm not doing that one. Yeah, it's no, the tail sticking out of the shadow. Oh, I can't believe it. But it's not that, it's just like how close people are, so, you know. 
You know what? That was really needed. I got a 5 and a 19 rolled. So... Uh, that's going to be very, very good. <clears throat> um, Can I... Sorry, you carry on, man. Okay. Anyone, sorry. This is going to be awesome for me as well. <laughs> I think I've been given by Raina plus a D8 um, inspiration type thing. Yeah. Um, you were inspired, but it was during the combat and it only lasts 10 minutes. Oh. So unfortunately, it has expired. Okay. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Sorry. <laughs> All right. But Eight, it's a plus 10. Then. You have a plus 10 from Pass of that track. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have a plus 10. Oh, okay. 18. Thanks all for that. 28 for Raina. Okay. Uh, 32. 31. <laughs> what? <laughs> too long. Dude, you get so good at that. Bloody hell. She's right. very small. <laughs> Zaymar will, co will convince himself that it's because he helped her. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, thanks for the marigolds. <laughs> My return gift to you. Oh, you're awesome. welcome. <laughs> this is when Brian rolls again and stepping on every single twig <laughs> as he walks. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, uh, sorry, Samita. I I didn't capture yours. Uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Um. So that appears to um help a lot because as you make your way through the jungle, um, you make a progress and you're soon coming within sight of Rogerton through the trees. Um, it has now been... Um, so you had a long rest of an hour plus um, the ritual, so hour 15 plus um, 20 minutes to get there. So... <laughs> I think you always help me with this uh, kind of thing, because that probably makes it nightfall. Nightfall. You're j bloody joking. No. <laughs> so we're gonna I'll die. Do a short rest and then so that'll be seventeen. Oh my god. Forty-five. Oh no, not yet. There's still some daylight. What time we set out? I mean, what it was in the morning, isn't it? No. No. He did it diamonds. Fast around as per usual for ages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you oh. you arrived in the jungle at three. Um, so, yeah, there's still some light, um, so I'm going to change the background to uh, the sunset. Um, this is the first sunset you have witnessed in your life. Um, as you approach the water-covered area that used to be Rogerton. So you can see through the trees that the entire um, low-lying area of the village, which um, Hrathia and Zemo will remember was by a, a very small river, um, is now submerged beneath a lake that spans left and right all the way across the land that was um, lower to, than um, the jungle. So the jungle before reached the edge of this um, field that led up to the village. That entire field is now water. Um, and as you look left and right, you can see the water extends even further. Um, and the surface of the water um, is thick with mist that reaches 12, 14 foot in places. Um, a couple of questions. Does the church poke through this water or not? So because the mist extends all the way to the shore of the lake, this is now a lake, um, you can't see very far beyond that. So as you approach Rogerton, you've got a bit of height, um, but it's very hard to see anything ahead. Um, it's low light now, and you're trying to make out the church. Roll, um, everyone roll perception at disadvantage. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. Six. Oh, sorry. Is that like a normal sight thing? 
This is normal size, yeah. I mean, it, no change for you. It can D be double this. Is right, yeah. Yeah. Phew. Nineteen. Ooh. Wow. Well done. Uh, Sixteen. Did you have mine already? Six. Six. Okay. Um. So. Uh, did you yeah. get mine? Yours was oh. what? Were they Sixteen. Oh, right. So you and um, Adelbert can just make out a dark shape that you assume is... Sorry, um, you and the other person Zayma. who rolled 16, Zayma, um, can just make out the dark um, tip of the tower of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it looks like a, a sort of um, triangular blob that shifts in and out of mist. Um, mm -hmm. However, that shape is constantly changing as black mist pours out from it. Um, mm. Adelbert, uh, you can see a dull tinge of red from beneath the water. Like something down there is is bright red. I'm gonna try and point that out to the others, and just say, "What what do you make of that?" Rath is going to look left and right along the shore to see if there's any evidence of lava sort of flows coming from Robertson right up to the, the water. Uh, yeah, so, um, sorry, I, I should have described that while you were making this journey, um, the lava crevices that went past you during the combat um, are repeated continually. Um, however, mm -hmm. Zaymar is picking your uh, journey through the lava to make sure that you can get there without having to jump stupid ravines and things um so it's everywhere and as you get to rogson it's clearly the epicenter of of the lava cracks right but lava is really hot glow so does that account for the the glow in the church does, does it all lead to the church and can you see little channels of glowing lava under the water um Harathia can't at the moment you'd you'd literally have to ask adelbert to start pointing stuff out it's actually quite hard to see so at this point, you're still um, you're still looking through trees and seeing Rogerton at, at a distance at the moment. All right, so you've probably got good eyes being an elf and all that. It's these lava flows. Can you see them? Do they go straight to the church? I'm taking out uh, my spyglass, by the way. And okay. I look scanning. back for the river. Also, I'm looking for, like, the Ted for... If there was lava underwater, it would be a thing oxygen things there should be bubbling from the heat as well is there anything on the water or under the water that looks like there's i suppose part of me is trying to wondering can i see the lava flows but also is this real water based on what zayma was saying roll uh two rolls um not a disadvantage this is two different approaches to the problem roll nature and arcana which is going to be bad I'm basically that. trying to do the same thing. Huh. Nature's a nature was a ten. Arcana was a natural twenty, so twenty-six. Ooh. <laughs> um, the entire view that you have of this village is magical, in your opinion. This is not a natural occurring combination of elements. Um, mm. However. Whether that means it's illusionary or not is hard to say because the lava that burned um, Samita um, and some of the others of you was definitely real. So, um, I say there's there's something going on here. I'm I'm going to try something. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, Do you need some help? I... Yes, please. Ellie. Oh, hold on, hold on, one second. Let me just double check. <laughs> Oh, tough uh, shit. Uh, no, I can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, tough shit. <laughs> um, can I try to cast Dispel Magic on the magical effects in front of me? Uh, before you do that roll, Arcana. Oh. Uh, that's a natural 20 again. Um, if, you, if you cast Dispel Magic on a spell, it's quite a simple uh, sort of combat almost. Um, if you cast a spell magic on a magic item or some other effect, 
um, it's much more difficult. Um, the best that you can expect is that it might stop the item, for instance, um, operating for a while. What you're looking at is magic that is so big um, that you you think there's no way one spellcaster at your ability could stop it. It's too huge. We're talking about an entire lake, probably. But do I think it would cause some effect that would make the others notice that it's a magical effect? So, like a glimmer or um, a shimmer or a brief... It'll definitely impression. create an effect, yeah. Uh, you don't know what that effect would be, but it would create an effect for sure. Yeah. Has... Um, uh, I was just going to say, did you say this aloud to all of us? Which bit? About it being magical effect. Uh, I think oh, we said that it was illusionary back in the jungle. And I, I think I said um, things aren't as they seem, but I come from my exact words. Okay. Can I find a rock and chuck it in the water? <laughs> okay. Uh, before we start queuing up um, what's happening, so Ad Adelbert is thinking about something, which is going to take a bit of time, so we can say that you're doing that at the moment, Adelbert. You're just trying to consider whether to cast this spell. But at the same time, Zaymar wanted to look through the spyglass, so let's deal with the spyglass. Um, what are you looking for, and where are you looking? I'm looking at the church, specifically. Okay. Um, I'm using my good eye <laughs> to the eyeglass. All right, roll another perception. Straight. <laughs> then he rolls the three. Um, no, seven. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, uh, nine. Yes, no. Um, okay. Given time, I mean, obviously, looking at a structure over time is going to help. Um, given time, you'll probably see more, but right now, a billow of mist goes across it, and you, you can't see much. Um, I'll just stand there and do continue doing that while everybody else does stuff. Um, okay. Remind me a bit later as time goes by. <laughs> um, so, uh, Matt, do you want to finish your um, decision? And then we'll yeah, go, to, go to a mess. I'm, I was going to do it just to kind of help everyone, even for a second. Um, I, I just feel something declining is going to happen right now. But, um, <laughs> yeah. yep. uh, so what, what are you going to cast it on specifically? Um, to where the church is. Ooh, that's quite far away. Okay then. In that case, directly in front of us. Because um, Dispel Magic doesn't have a massive range. Oh, uh, 120 feet. 120 feet. Thank you. Uh, I just know that for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um any small Yeah, that's fine. Um Yeah, that's fine. Um Um so you're casting it on what, sorry? Well, is the church within hundred and twenty feet? No, no, you you're no. um considerable well, distance away. In that case, it's kind of as close as, as like directly in front of us to kind of essentially see if the like, little path goes. Okay. Nice, you know, scientific term there. Little brutal. It's like the I like it. rats. Um, so make an ability check using your spell casting ability. Do we notice him casting a spell? Oh yeah. I walk away, just a little distance. <laughs> <laughs> So this, this is just D20 plus my spell casting? Yes. Yeah, okay. That would be a 25. Ooh. Wow. Um, Big explosion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 25. Um, so you have been doing a lot of research into... Um, corruption and corrupt effects and you're beginning to look at how corruption itself could perhaps have some kind of magical element to it whether it could in fact be a form of magic um, and using that information you kind of figure out that 
perhaps what you're looking at and what you're seeing is a magical effect caused by corruption of some kind. Um, and so you use that to break it down and attack um, the essence that is doing that. Um, there's an, an immediate wash of um, mist that pulls away from where you cast the uh, Dispel Magic. Um, and you can see that the red glow remains. Um, but once the mist is gone, you can see that there is some black mist on the surface of the water as well. It was disguised, if you like, by the, the normal mist. Um, and there is still water there. Yeah. That is real water. This is. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so Mads, you've picked up a stone and you see the mist part for you. Perfect timing to throw it into that patch of water. Yeah. Is it? What happens? Oh, you're throwing it? Okay. Um, roll, yeah. uh, roll to hit. Roll to hit large. Natural block. 20 to hit water. Oh, why? <laughs> I know. Wait, that is meaningless. So... <laughs> I know. There's no such thing as a waste. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful yeah, shot and... right into the middle. Um, maybe, and... maybe I'll skip it. I'll skip the stone. Yeah, sure. Yeah, All right. yeah I'll skip it. So, Alithia, <laughs> you, you go to throw and it's like a, a childhood instinct takes over and you, you sort of do the skipping motion instead. <laughs> um, and the, the stone goes bloop, 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 and goes across the water beautifully. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's water, and the, the stone sinks as you would expect. That is just lake water. Um, actually, roll nature as you've just done this little experiment. Uh, that is 18. Actually, it might be 19. Well, let me double check. Uh, I can never remember this one. Uh, uh, 19, 19. <laughs> um... This is curious to you. Um, you would guess that this is salt water. Quite heavy salt water. In fact, if you if you didn't know this was an inland lake, you could swear that this was ocean water. Huh. Why is the ocean water in a freshwater place? Do the rivers go to the ocean? Do you mean we're inland? How can it be ocean water? What? It's ocean water, you can tell. Just the way it skipped. You can tell it's ocean water by the way the stone is skipped. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Never underestimate lithia or athia. Because it's more salty. Uh, whatever. Uh, how far are we from the... We're right in front of the water, aren't we? Uh, you are um, about 60 feet away from the water. Yeah. Um, um, can you... There is... Following on from, from Ellie, there is bad news and, and bad news. The bad news is the water is real. It is no mirage, no illusion, no trick. The bad news is that there is an illusion in place, and the mystery you see before you is, in fact, an illusion to cover the dense layer of corruption that flows on top of this and potentially underneath it. You, my friends, are looking at a seawater ocean of corruption we could we could get oh, into the <laughs> no no wait 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 wait, say more. wait 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 so i know the corruption's bad um but i can make us breathe underwater tomorrow breathe underwater Over, uh, yeah. stay on top of the water can we just hack a few trees down make a big raft well, how would we get into the church then? The church is underwater. And all of the mist you see on top of the water is still corruption. It's just masquerading as not. Well, how deep is it? Can we quickly, while we have this uh, shadow around us, can we quickly move towards the water? I wish to take, we should take a sample of the water. Um, okay, let's go. This is a small bottle. Okay, Zaymar is moving towards the water. I'll, I'll follow. join him. Mm. Everyone following? Okay. All cuddling together. Mm. I'll right. move quickly up and carefully. And then as I get close... Sorry. <laughs> Bugger. 
Good try. Roll uh, oh, wisdom saving throw. Everyone. Lifting it. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Cocked. Mm, cocked too. Hey. Sixteen. Who knew? Seventeen. Same more? That's not good, <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm just wondering whether to use a luck roll. <laughs> I'm going to use a luck roll. Bugger. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. Uh, 19. 19. 19. Okay. Um, all of you, apart from Adelbert, um, are uh, fine. Adelbert is not. However, um, you all do feel the same sensation that you felt in the Ruined Keep recently when a certain person Green. used her ability. And as you approach um, the water's edge, you realize to your right is the same location where you first met her. Um, Adelbert, you get this sensation in spades. You don't have any protection at running at the moment, do you? No. no. Um, you are poisoned, effectively. <gasps> um, and y- this enormous sensation of nausea comes over you. Um, and you actually shake as you walk for one step from the shock of this um, feeling. Um, it does seem to be a proximity feeling as you pass this same location where you met Serene before. Um, how far away is that point? So this is a, about 20 feet to sort of right, right okay. and in front um, of you, Zemo. Right, so I think that I could still be within 30... Is it within 30 feet of Alithia? Uh, hang on a second, let me just write here a quick note. Um, Yeah. Son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> and that's within 30 feet. Okay. Uh, you don't see um, what you just posted, but that is the same location. Right, okay. Um, I am going to quickly move over to the area. Um, I'm going to go as rapidly as I can do while still maintaining my stealth, if I can get over there. Um, and then I'm going to scour the whole area looking for something that might be emanating it or something looking for any roll perception huh roll perception um roll perception normal okay um 14 um as you approach you are seeing the sun behind you sort of dip down behind the mountains. Um, By the way, I'm going over to a tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, Zamor is heading towards a tree. Um, the light is fading quickly, and so all the trees are shadows in front of you. Um, and as you approach that tree, you could swear that the thickness of that tree is not as it was. That there is somebody leaning against that tree but you're not sure from this distance. Um, I, um, I assume that I'm still um, stealthily going over there, right? You are, yeah, and you have a very high stealth roll. <laughs> I basically very delicately um, um, move my... Uh, I basically take out my... Um, out, uh, 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 telescope and put it to my eye and I see if I can see closely now that I see that there might be something there okay so you've been creeping sort of between the shadows and always merging with the shape of the foliage around you so you sort of settle down um, and take a a look through your spyglass um, trying to make out what the shadows are 
and as I mentioned, the sun is rapidly dropping behind the horizon, so it's getting dark, but it is definitely serene. I immediately message um, Harathia using the... So basically... You are, I, you are also it, in the Hall of Echoes. To, oh, to sorry, that's you. true. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. I go... I, mm. I I basically go um 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 Harathia, the person we first met when we came here is here. Fuck would she be doing here? Ain't no dragons here. She has not She's probably watching, but. Well, say so we go and introduce ourselves to her. I do not know. Well, I ain't having her at her back. Mm. Let me do something before I heave. <laughs> I don't have anything for you. I didn't come with that today. I didn't think we would get poisoned. Well, bloody purgative at this point. I'm... I don't think mm. healing you is going to help. Try a good berry, see if that helps. That'll bear. You can just simply move away. I believe it's proximity. Look, we still got Serene to deal with. You want to meet oh. to Serene's the one who's here. Yeah, well, this is where we first met her. Serene, whether we agree with her or not, is generally on our side. <laughs> Except when she's not. Yeah. She but, still follows the Huntress. But I say we go introduce ourselves. I ain't having her out of back, thinking she's got the advantage on us. You tell her to drop this nonsense on me. Um, I... Let's go. I'll start walking towards the room. Okay. So everyone has to follow me. Yeah. I'm going, going that right. way too, but if, if he sees a little bit here, he's going to just, just hold his hand out. But let me go first. She's fucking I'm dangerous. Just, I, I know, I'm just 30 feet behind you, so you can be quiet like. Um, I'm basically 30 feet behind Ellie, because I can be as far as possible. <laughs> We should just get. Um, I I move. I presume that I'm probably within like ten feet of her. I You're pretty close now. Yeah. Yeah. I just. So I just go. Uh, I just. Serene, what are you doing here? Her head um, snaps round um, in the direction of your voice, and you just see the glimmer of um, the low light, a flash of the eyeball in the darkness, as she looks in your direction. Who's that? No, you do not recognise my voice. You'll recognise mine. Oh, Any dragons fuck. here? <laughs> <laughs> and she steps out from the shadows, um, expecting to then see um, some of you. I don't. <laughs> Does what? she see us? Uh, at the moment, everyone's hidden. Um, so it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, I continue to hide. <laughs> yeah, I'm not revealing myself either. Might as well keep yourself hidden. We will have this conversation. Fine. Are Whatever. we 120 feet away? Well, am 60. I 120 feet away? 60, 60, 60. Yeah, you're with him. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Can I message her and say, Sorry, I feel sick. Please drop it. There's no response. Say my whispers back. She might not be able to. Oh, that was a direct message. Yeah, so we really didn't hear Oh, sorry. It. Yeah, yeah. It's I just thought it was a call of echo. Sorry. No, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were right. saying, saying to her, ultimately. Yeah. We may have built up some little bit of trust between us. Now, we're here to investigate Robertson. 
What are you doing here? What do you think? Same. Oh, why? You are you this? You said there's a dragon here. Look, it's not all about dragons. <laughs> What do we do, Hrathia? So you came here on your own to investigate Robertson. Who told you to? I do things that I want to do sometimes. Well, if you're here to check it out and we're here to check it out, we'd be best do it together. All right, but you better keep your distance. I'm kind of busy. What, busy doing what? Making people sick? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Same my curses at the almost knowledge that he gained there. <laughs> <laughs> so if we hadn't turned up, what's your next move? How'd you get there with all this water and corruption around? bit of a problem isn't it trying to get there that's why I hadn't gone mm. just figuring it out what do you know about it have you tried it looks a bit hot do you reckon it's hot it it's might be shit loads of lava came out of here yeah that's what I was worried about well I was about to find out should we try is it still within could I go still Yeah, much within? closer now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll quickly nip over there and okay. I'm going to use one of my... Uh, I'm going to use basically uh, um, like the, the clasp that I've got from my poisoning kit to sort of like lower it in. The one that I use for dealing with poisons at a distance without touching them. I will, And I will put the bottle in and then basically take take a bit of the water return back and then sort of put my hand to the edge of the glass to see if it's hot. It's hot. It's not um, boiling, but it is hot enough um, to um, Gold. to be, uh, I'm trying to think of the, the right temperature. Um, it's a bit like after you've boiled a kettle, but it's you left it for a while. So it's not just boiled, it's... Yeah, that's still 80 degrees, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> That's still pretty deadly. Okay. Um, uh, it's hot enough to... Uh, it's hot enough for Zabrath to cook breakfast with, although cook rice in. So probably, I don't know. Um, I pour. I basically pour the um, water out and see if there's any corruption that goes with it. Sorry, I was laughing at Kevin's comment. <laughs> yeah, measure the temperature in kettle states. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen anything more British. <laughs> I can, what can I say? I'm, I'm British. Put, at least I was trying to put it into terms of boiling rice. I'm sure it's like guilty as charged, isn't it? Really? Uh, sorry, uh, what was your question, <laughs> Um I tip out the water and see if there's any like corruption that comes with it. See if there's anything. I'm trying to see if there's any corruption, if the water itself is tainted. Um, there is corruption coming from your flask. Um, if you pour the water, um, it seems to um, dissipate based on the amount. So as you pour drops out, it, you can see a little bit, but it, it vanishes pretty quickly. Um, as you're doing that, um, Serene does approach a little bit. Um, and you can see um, that she is not just busy. She is emitting a considerable amount of black mist. However, it's not... Um, so her... It seems to be coming from... away from her body. It's not directly coming from her. It's coming from an aura around her. So it's pouring down and sort of um, landing on the ground and pooling. Um, but it's not coming off her skin directly. And as you're pouring the water and sort of testing it and you're looking at this um, um, strange vision of um, Serene's mist, which you've never seen that kind of activity before, um, we will end the session. 
Mm. Um, and Ding-dang. I will send a message to Kevin. Thank you. That was excellent. Wow. Very cool session. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> was it just? It was just the kettle thing, wasn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. No. No. Also, the 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 flirt was amazing. Oh, God, next week's questions. Oh, dear, I did. <laughs> this has made me so happy, this flirting. <laughs> great. Uh, oh, that was so funny because it was like, I knew what I was going to do, and I was like, oh, good grief. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you, Crash Cat. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crash Cat. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, please follow and subscribe. Um, we are going to have Q and A Q&A now, um, where I'm going to be talking to the, the players and asking them questions. Uh, so, those in chat, if you do have any questions, if it's um, about the session or about making tea, um, then please go ahead and and ask them in chat. Um, I just need to turn off the jungle sounds. First question, as usual, is for Kevin. Seeing the damage caused by the Hellhounds, is Samita glad she hid? Absolutely. That was the the best choice that she made in that combat, by far. Uh, falling to the ground and hiding. Um, because um, she's small, and she is not <laughs> her athia, So <laughs> she does not want to get bitten by those. So yeah, she's very happy with how that went. Uh, question for Matt. Um, Adelbert managed to escape attention during most of the combat. Was that the purpose of the Misty Step? Mm, not, not in the slightest. Um, Baha had been hurt and isolated from everyone. And his kind of instincts died into protecting them. I mean, he knows he didn't need protecting, but um, kind of instinctively, he saw he'd been isolated. He saw, you know, he'd been burned and needed to do something about it. Nice. Um, question for Mads: yeah. Alithia saved Bran's life. They already seem to be friends, but do you expect this to cement the bond? So, um, I think they're friends, but I think she recognises that it doesn't matter what she does, the bond that um, he has with um, with Raffia is something like well beyond, um, you know, anything that someone could do. So, maybe, but I don't think it's going to like, you know, I think she respects that and I don't think it's going to like... You know, it's not like she's gonna. He, Bron's gonna take sides against Rathia now. <laughs> Let's say. All right. <laughs> uh, question for Rathia: What was going through Rathia's mind as Bron went down? Shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> um, but he's in the habit of sorting out the problem before he, he deals with the consequences. So, you know, he felt he had to take this thing out before. Mm making sure that Brian was okay, although, mm. you, you know, uh, he's been in a lot of scrapes with him before and, and he's quite resilient, so he was pretty confident that he was at least not dead. Mm. Um, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, question for Zaymar. What was going through Zaymar's mind as Brian went down? Oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 um, it was mostly because uh, the first thing that went through his mind was one of tactics. He was worried what Harathia would do under those circumstances immediately. 
uh, and he wasn't quite sure whether that would force him to take his eye off the prize. So it was actually like the tactical thing to do was to take out the the hellhound mm. um, and to start getting rid of these things. And he was worried that Arathia would basically drop his guard under those conditions. So, um, so yeah. First of all, interested that he did like relieved that he didn't do that, and second of all. Storing away that knowledge for future reference. <laughs> As always. All right. Um, question for Kevin. What kind of risks will Samita be willing to take to save her new companions? Oof. Um, she'll take moderate risks, at least. Um, you know, she's, she's taken... Uh, she, she's be become acquainted with lava, which is new. So that's that's the type of risk that she's willing to take. Um, as for whether she would actively dive into more danger for a chance at saving them if they got into trouble, um, I think that's a very good question that I'm not ready to answer yet. Um, no, <laughs> I'm curious to find fine. out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely fine. All right, a uh, question for Matt. Adelbert took decisive action to take down the Woman of Shadow. Was there any question in his mind it was the right thing to do? No, as he tried to explain to, to Ellie last time, um, even if they could hold her, stop her, there's nothing he could do in the moment to demystify the engage so for him it was removing the the threat that kind of threatened uh, Baha, Eli and, and the others <laughs> in order uh, of Eli, uh, and the <laughs> Can't remember who they are, but it's the other people. Um, a question for Mads: Was Alithia mm -hmm. surprised that it was her trying to learn about the beasts and not Adelbert? Yes. Well, yes and no. Um, yes, she was surprised because uh, she thinks it's very again, like against what she understands of Adelbert, that he's so eager to learn about different things and you know different animals and the natural world and yet he's not interested in learning about these creatures that could be like from another plane like that that's just yeah mind boggled a little bit with that um but on the other hand she wasn't as surprised because um i think she was coming from at it from a very emotional perspective hmm. like you know compassionate this thing's in pain, it's in hurt, it's hurt, so I'm going to try and find out more so I can help. Uh, whereas I don't think the rest uh, were. <laughs> yep. All right. Question for Harathia. How does Harathia feel about his sword now? Oh, he had his, his talk with it. It seemed to take the point. So from that point of view, you know, time will tell. We'll see what it, see how it behaves. The um, the weird glowy thing. Um, yeah, interesting. And you know, he's not interested by that much. But but yeah, just, so he he does know that it without its help, he wouldn't have been able to kill it with that one blow. That mm. um, that hellhound. So so yeah, I guess he's feeling pretty good about it. All right. Cautious optimism. Um, question for Zaymar. How does Zaymar rate his effectiveness in open combat? <laughs> open combat? <laughs> well, he had a little bit at the end of last session. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, he'd really rather... Uh, I mean, he probably thinks he could be quite effective, but the, the reality is, is that um, it's... Uh, it's just far too dangerous. <laughs> I mean, he, he he was compelled into action because he knew that if he didn't act immediately, that something. So yeah, uh, it, it's it, 
to be honest, there's not actually that many times that he's being sort of pushed into open combat. He's normally got something up his sleeve, mm. whereas this time he didn't have much other than to just go full, full in on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's relatively, he's both surprised and relieved that he didn't die. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, question for Kevin. Now that Samita has seen them fight, how does she rate their effectiveness? Um, I think I think in combat she rates every single one of them higher than herself. Um, mm. So, um, as for individually, I think there's a strong shared first place between Harathe, Zaymar, and Adelbert. And then <laughs> there's a distant second place for Alethia. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Um, question for Matt. Adelbert showed some anger in his conversation with Alithia. What other emotions were going through in that moment? I think it was anger and frustration. Because uh, while I think he, he understood where Ellie was coming from, he felt there was some naivety there and that she didn't see he was trying to protect her. Whether what he did was right or wrong is kind of uh, debate. I mean, he was obviously right. But he's, there was the frustration that she couldn't see that, uh, yes, we can talk to these things, but when they're summoning literal hellhounds that are trying to rip your face off, that's not the time to start a conversation. Um, so, and I think he was frustrated that, you know, she's saying, why didn't you talk to it? It's like, well, yes, isolate one, have a lovely chat, cup of tea, slice of lemon, wonderful, thank you. Um, but perhaps when there are fire breathing, face ripping, tentacle spouting, demon spawn, um, that's not the best time. And the anger was that he, he was the one in the wrong. So, yeah, it's just frustrating that they both want the same thing. But in his point of view, Ellie didn't see the danger she was putting herself in. And I think that's the crux of it. Um, Adam very much wants to protect Ellie. I mean, she doesn't Aww. need it, let's be honest. But um, <laughs> she just Aww. keeps walking into, I mean, in this case, literal open fire-breathing jaws. So what is an elf to do? Uh, question for Mads. Uh, was yeah. was Alithia at all surprised to see Adelbert so angry? Um, no, I don't think so. Because I, th I think Alithia thought of it in a different way, actually. I think Alithia thought Adelbert was angry because he hates being wrong. And so... <laughs> Um, you know, like, it's a massive affront on his ego. And so he's like, you know, covering that up and, you know, blowing up and blustering uh, to be like, what do you mean I'm wrong? No, you're wrong, sort of thing. So no, she wasn't surprised. I did think the same thing. That's a losing <laughs> chat. Um, question for Harathia. Was the attack by the Hellhounds more or less than Harathia expected at this stage of the journey? Uh, Rathia sort of doesn't do what ifs. It's a waste of energy from his point of view. So surprise sort of doesn't come into it. It happened. You deal with it. In a way, you've got to be a bit more imaginative than Rathia to, to, to <laughs> sort of expect stuff, you know, one way or the other. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, there's all this magic shit happening, and as far as Rathi is concerned, you can, anything can happen with magic. <laughs> yeah. No, he doesn't know anything about it. What's the point in speculating? So, yeah, not not really, but not necessarily in the way you meant. All right. Um, question for Zaymar. How much does Zaymar doubt success in the middle of that kind of combat? Doubt success. <laughs> What, how much do I think I'm not going to... I mean, he doesn't have any idea what, what was going to happen. I mean, he was sort of always holding something back. I mean, when the final dagger went in and it actually did something, <laughs> I was more than moderately surprised that that actually worked. Um, but, yeah, it, 
he was going into it with, I'll try what I can, and then if things don't go according to plan, at least I can get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, final question for Kevin of the evening. Um, does Samita see the chance of friendship with any of this group? Oof. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Um, hmm. I think there's definitely some kernels that could develop into friendly mm -hmm. relationships. And, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm a child, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine, it's alright. Um, a question from Matt, final question of the evening. Um, how much time have you spent considering multiclassing as something with more health? I, I have brains, I don't need health. <laughs> None, all right. Fair no. enough. <laughs> uh, final question for Mads. Mm -hmm. Can we expect to, to see a calm, rational, and quiet character tomorrow in Kevin's one shot? A Zen monk, perhaps? Oh, without me giving away. Um, it's going to be very different to Alethia, nice. uh, the character um, tomorrow. No, no, very, 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 very different. Um, I'm going to be a man for one. Oh, so. cool. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say <laughs> that's fairly different all right. yeah <laughs> alright uh, question for Herathia um, final question for the evening now that you've been playing Herathia in the thick of it on stream can you imagine switching to your more thoughtful character yes because I've been I've been playing that more thoughtful character since I was like 13 or something so mm. um, it's kind of ingrained in me. It's, it's a part of me that I prefer to the, the part of me that is me. So, um, yeah, <laughs> no problem. All right. And final question of the evening and final question of the night. That was, mm, that's rubbish. Sentence. Um, Zaymar, would you describe Zaymar as a pessimist or a realist? Uh, he's no, no, he's just a realist. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely no question. <laughs> Yeah, he's not. Um, he's not uh, um, pessimistic about these things. He's just careful. It's like all the time, whenever you know, it sounds like he's a bit of a coward or whatever. But um, he's like, you only have. He's just absolutely the opposite of reckless. So uh, he's, you know, he likes his life and he wants to preserve it as long as possible, <laughs> you know, and he'd much rather take more time to do something than to put any of that in danger, which is kind of always at odds because he, you know, he relishes the thrill of the mm -hmm. danger and doing that. Um, and that's kind of, but it, he it fights against his mate basic instinct all the time. So, yeah, it's constant juxtaposition. But uh, no, absolute realist, and that's the problem. <laughs> Realism sneaking in uh, amongst all the plans. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, that, that's it for the evening, all the questions. Simon. Um, apart from Adelbert. Yeah, I know you've, you've final question, just the last question, but this is Adelbert, and he you know, needs to have the final word, uh, as he said. <laughs> just a very... A different sort of question to end the session. I, I was wondering, because we've had an, an awfully British session talking about kettle temperatures and, and teas, I'm just wondering, what is everyone's ideal cup? Huh? Hmm. That's actually quite a hard question to answer. Um, I, 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 I drink the sort of dip into your dip the tea bag in and make it really quickly and put lots of milk in because it's convenient and not too hot most of the time an ideal one would probably be like an old grey but a good one not a supermarket one oh you're talking our personal preferences not our characters oh yes yes but... oh. I don't drink tea horrible stuff <laughs> <laughs> how can you say that there's so many times okay. that I've met up with Chris and I always, every time he comes round, I always offer him a cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, so, and he's, he's, he bought me a Starbucks mug as well, which I still have in use. Hot chocolate. Because he doesn't drink coffee either. Yeah. <laughs> every time. Uh, brilliant. It's the gift that keeps on British. Uh, I used to have Earl Grey at my, I used to have Earl Grey at my grand's every weekend, so it's kind of got like a 
a memory thing as well, nostalgia. Oh. Mm. And I'm the Yorkshire cup. tea at the moment. Yeah, Yorkshire tea, build, builders tea, basically all the time. So it used to be PG, like Tetley or anything like that. But actually, doing around on uh, Yorkshire tea at the moment. So. I, by cup, did you mean like the actual vessel, or did you mean the no, no the type of tea? Type Sorry. of tea. Oh, so my ideal tea is um, I can I can never pronounce it. So property, like you know, kind of done up in. With like you know two two ke- one one kettle for hot water one kettle for like you know steeping it uh, beautiful porcelain set um, bone china um, sorry so that you can like you know it t- makes the tea taste better and it's a combination of half Darjeeling and half um, Ceylon yeah because I'm a fast spot. Kevin, as our um, honorary producer for the team. Oh, please don't make me answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say Kevin looked a little bit bored during this. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I haven't had tea in like 10 years. Really? <gasps> what? It's, it's, it's vaguely flavoured hot water. What is the point? And as for Kevin, <laughs> how disgusting. <laughs> I, I I have no dislike of tea. It's just um, I no. Um, it not. I will convert you. You haven't had had good had good tea yet. No, it just takes too long to make. Like, I just want a glass of water and I'm happy. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, th- thanks everyone for joining us. Um, uh, and uh, oh, uh, any shout outs, Maz, while I look for a, a raid? A shout out. We should take over tomorrow as a shout out. Uh, shout out uh, at Tales of Adea on Sundays at 5 pm BSC, and catch us tomorrow on Tales of Adea, a special one shot at 8 pm BST. It's going to be awesome. Um, Very cool. And, um, yeah, it's going to be really, really awesome. Um, I apologize in advance for terrible accents because my character wants an accent that I cannot do. Um, oh, yeah, totally is, is, is it, the is it PM or is it it's 7, I think, 7 BSD. No, it's 7 PM. 7 yeah. PM BSD. My bad, my bad. I'm so sorry. No, that's um, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so apologies in advance for the terrible accents, but it'll be good fun. Um, uh, and thank you for everyone in Tabletop TV, and thank you for everyone in um, uh, on the, in, in the Twitter sphere who supports us. And I never shout out our Facebook um, followers, but like there are a couple of people who like and comment on every post, and it is very wonderful. And it warms the cockles of our hearts. Um, so thank you guys. Um, yeah, sorry if we've not been more interactive. Uh, my work has just been. Um, but uh, yes, thank you to everyone, and of course, most importantly, thank you to all of our lovely viewers for watching us and making this story even more exciting and fun to play. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Um, I'm gonna raid um, Raphazil, who's one of the players on Bardic Dice's stream um, on Thursdays, um, the Fates United stream. Uh, she is currently playing Elder Scrolls, which um, I'm a massive fan of. So I can't um, believe I you played that thing to absolute death and then some. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we have a number of hours. Uh, on Elder Scrolls um, so I will uh, start raiding that shortly uh, meanwhile please do join us tomorrow at 7pm uh, British Standard Time uh, for Tales of Adair and I get to play <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what you play does it have an accent? <laughs> uh, kind of yeah <laughs> alright so uh, th- thanks uh, everyone for watching and we'll see you next week and tomorrow and Sunday bye <laughs>